All right, guys, so today we're going to teach you how to do the leg press. So in my opinion, the leg press is one of three, one of the three best leg exercises you could do for overall leg development. So um, lunges, squats, leg press, the best three. And I say that because you're not just engaging one muscle group like the leg extension or the lying hamstring curl. You're hitting three big muscle groups at the same time. Quadriceps are the primary muscle group in all three of those exercises. And then you got the hamstring and the glutes as a secondary muscle group with all three. So uh, phenomenal exercise for the legs to develop leg strength, leg definition. Um, and the great thing about the leg press, from what I've noticed over the last 20 years of working with people, if they did have some knee issues or a knee injury, if they couldn't do squats and they couldn't do lunges, this is the one they were always safe on if they had some knee problems. Um, this is the one that they're safe pushing the weight up a little bit, even if they had some knee issues. So it doesn't require like the flexing at the knee joints that the squats and the lunges do. Um, so definitely, definitely something you want to have in your program. Uh, if you could train legs, you definitely want to be doing the leg press. But let me show you proper form on this today. Make sure you're doing it the right way. First thing you're going to do with the leg press is obviously you're going to step inside. Okay, lower your body weight down. And then you're going to go ahead and put your... Feet up on the platform. Make sure that your butt and your lower back is as flat as possible against the seat. Um, you never want your butt to lift off here when you're bringing the weight down because you could hurt your lower back. Uh, so here, here's a cool tip for you guys to know. As far as the feet place, placement on the leg press, the wider you go with your foot placement, the more you're emphasizing inner thighs. The closer you go with the leg press, the more you're gonna hit the outer thighs. The higher you go, the more you're gonna recruit the hamstring and the glutes, and the lower you go, you're gonna hit more of the, the quadricep. However, I wouldn't recommend you go too low because you may feel that, uh, you may feel discomfort in your knees. Okay, so when you do the leg press, I typically will go shoulder width or maybe slightly wider. When you do the leg press, I want you to think about your power is coming through your hips and your heels. Just like when you do squats, you wanna drive through the hips and the heels. That's where you're gonna generate your leg strength from. Okay, so keep your butt and your back flats. So every leg press is a little bit different. Uh, most gyms, most gyms you just push up and the, uh, it will unlatch itself like that. Some gyms you have to push up and then slide the bars to the side. Uh, but this one you just push up. I'll do that once you see. So I'm not touching anything. All you do is you push up and it, it will unlatch itself, or at least this one will. But again, some, some gyms, they will have two bars right here. You push up and then you have to turn the bars to the side to clear the weight so you can bring it all the way down. Okay, so from here, hold on to the handles here just to make sure you're safe. You wanna control the weight on the way down to somewhere about there and then drive the weight up. You don't want your knees to lock. You never wanna lock your knees when you do this. Always down slow, control the weight somewhere about there and then drive it up. And it really depends on somebody's flexibility how far you come down. But you never wanna come down so far that your butt lifts off of here because you can really hurt your back. Another key point when you do the leg press, you never wanna lock your knees. You wanna, you wanna go to a full extension like this all right, full extension, but you never want to lock your knees like that because you can hurt your knees. So here is another key point, and it drives me nuts because uh, it's funny when I start working with new clients, I see them doing this all the time. So as I said, your power comes through your hips and your heels. So you want to drive through your heels, okay? So as you push up, drive right through your heels. I see probably half of my clients when I first start working with them with their new, they're pushing through the ball of the foot, and that is incorrect. You want to drive through the heels. You're gonna generate a lot more power, a lot more leg strength when you drive through the heels instead of the ball of the foot. Your heel should never come off of here. So hold on to the handles, control it on the way down, drive your weight up, don't lock your knees. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Just like that, inhale, exhale. It's always breathe out with effort. The hard part of the movement is when you're gonna exhale, okay? Just like that. Okay, again, primary muscle group, quads, secondary hamstring and glutes. So on this machine to, to rack the weight, all I do is I push this up and you probably can't see from that angle, but there's a bar right in the middle and that's gonna, that's gonna bring the weight down and, and the weight's gonna hold on that. Um, 
Again, some leg presses at gyms, when you push the weight up, there's gonna be two bars on the side, safety racks. And then after you complete your last repetition, you're gonna to have to pull those in. Okay, so but I hope you found the video useful. That is the proper way to do the leg press, guys. Um, absolutely should be in your leg program, okay? Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you on the next one.